Let's fucking get on with these fucking rat cards so I can go to bed. Fuck's sake. Fucking knobs. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <clears throat> Launch gear packs. As we promised way back in developer blog one, it's time to talk gear pack specifics. Gear packs are a new way. They're not new. Get the fuck over it. It's from other games. It's fucking microtransactions. It's not fucking new. Fuck off. They're a new way to unlock customization content and more in Gears of War 4. Gear packs are acquired via credits. The new in game currency for Gears of War 4. As you play online versus or horde, everything you do is earning credits. You just have to play. <clears throat> credits can then be used to acquire new gear packs with different credit values based on the kind of cards they contain. If you're short on time or simply want to accelerate the growth of your card collection, gear packs can also be purchased with real world currency. No fucking shit, knobheads! Of course they can, that's the whole point of the scam. Duh! Fucking hell. Couldn't you just say... In actual fact, what it should read is like this. Uh, gear packs are our new microtransaction system. Uh, please fucking enjoy spending your real money on them. But, uh, we've added in a system so that you can use credits in-game. Just so that our fanboys can defend this system when it comes out. Because otherwise it would be undefendable. That's, that's what it should say, but it doesn't. Knobs. There's a ton of content for fans to discover, from characters to weapon skins to horde skills to blah blah blah. Gear packs will come with a variety of flavours with a specific focus for each offering to help you acquire the types of cards you want. Why not just let us buy the fucking shit we want? Why not just have them be unlocked in the game? Find out more about gear pack cards and the card creation system here. Alright, we'll click on that in a minute. Real world currency may, may vary by region. Okay, 400 credits or 99 cents. Basis booster pack, ideal for people who want to challenge themselves with bounty, speed up their progression through ranks. Right, so basically we've just talked about the achievement system, right? 50% of the achievements are for leveling up your character, right? 50%, right? Well, to level up your guy, they want you to spend real fucking money in the fucking game so you can level your guy up ten fucking times. Because just throw all your fucking money into the game, buy these fucking uh, XP cards, and you'll level up in no time. Fuck yourselves off, okay? Nobody cares that much. In fact, some people do. Some people will do this because they're idiots. But no normal human being is going to be like, I'm going to buy a million XP cards so I can get to fucking the top rank. This is just going to piss everybody off. Fucking hell. Again, you're not Call of Duty. You can't afford to lose half your fucking fan base. You can't pull a Halo 5. It will kill you. Okay, you... But you basically sell like three, five million copies each time you release a game. That's like your max. This will kill you. It will kill you. Fucking twats. The Versus Booster Pack contains five bounties. Challenges that can be equipped before a match are successfully completed. You get XP or credit. As a reminder, Versus Bounties are only consumed once successfully completed. So at least if you get a card, you put it on, you don't fucking lose it. Horde Booster Pack. Four Horde Skills, one Horde Bounty. The Horde Booster Pack is all about acquiring and leveling up existing Horde Skills. While players can purchase these packs to hasten progression, players are limited on how many skills they can equip at one time, up to five by their class level. You'll still need to play Horde 3.0 to gain experience needed to level up. As with versus bounties, Horde bounties are only consumed once successfully completed. Okay.
Operation Splat Contents, one guaranteed customization item, four random cards. This pack is great for players looking to acquire all kinds of cards. One card in each pack guaranteed will be a character, a weapon skin or an emblem. Four other cards will be any type, including customization items, horde skills and bounties, which makes this a great variety pack for players not focusing on acquiring specific types of cards. <laughs> Who cares, like seriously? Elite pack. Contents, five customization items, one guaranteed to be rare or higher. Well, surely that's the best fucking one, if you want fucking any fucking, like, characters or fucking guns or anything, gun skins. You're gonna have to get that one, aren't you? Fucking five fucking dollars or four thousand fucking credits. The best pack for rapidly building your collection of characters, weapon skins and more. Can you remember Gears of War 1, 2, 3? And even Judgment. Even Judgment. Remember those games having the characters at launch? You know, Judgment had like less, but... Remember? You just start the game, pick a character, play the fucking game, remember that? No, no, now you have to fucking unlock them. So if there's a classic Dom Santiago in there, if there's a classic Dom Santiago in there, I will lose my fucking shit. Okay? I will. Because I need that character. Okay, I need that character. That's my character. That's not your character, Gears of War. That's my character. Okay, I've been using him since fucking day one. I've been using Dom since day one. And I'm getting Zombie Dom with the fucking pre-order bonus. Yeah, that's great. But I need classic Dom Santiago. You fuckers are going to put that shit in these packs. You're going to expect me to fucking grind for credits or put money into this game to get him. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I say fuck your fucking card packs. Fuck them. Who cares? I'll just go and play another fucking game. Okay? I'm just going to fucking play the campaign, play the horde mode, and then move on with my life. Gears Esports Supporter Pack. The Esports Supporter Pack is packed full of unique customization items for use online to showcase your support to Gears Esports. Okay, so you're going to put gay esports in again. So you're going to have game modes like execution with about five maps instead of fucking 35. Just because you want to do this competitive thing again, like you did with Gears Ultimate that didn't work, that lost a load of players. Brilliant. Idiots. Anyone who plays Gears of War 4 will receive one of each gear pack to start your collection. There will be additional special gear packs throughout the coming year and beyond that will offer additional ways to get the kind of content you want. If you're picking up the Ultimate Edition or Season Pass, you'll get 17 additional packs or 85 cards in the form of a starter airdrop kickstart your collection. The starter airdrop contains 5 horror boosters, 5 versus boosters, 5 operations packs, 2 elite packs. In case you missed it, any of the cards found in these packs can be destroyed to generate scrap, allowing you to create cards you've always wanted when you've got enough scrap. Any duplicates in can also be DUPLICATES! Dup- FUCKING DUPLICATES! FUCKING DUPLICATES! Fucking duplicates, fucking duplicates. You can get duplicate cards, duplicate fucking cards. Why? You can pay real money into a system to unlock items in a video game and you can unlock duplicates. Cards you've already fucking got before. 
Why? Why is there duplicates? Why is there duplicates? You fucking idiots. Fuck. <sighs> right. Duplicates, though. Any duplicates in can also be used to build your scrap funds. Apart from a few exceptions tied to promotions. Every card in the game at launch can be created with scrap. That's our latest development blog installment. Stay tuned on the road to launch. We're getting oh so close to Gears of War 4 release and we can't wait. Right. So there may be hope. There may be hope. If you can unlock a load of fucking cards or save your cards that you got at the beginning and then unlock some more if you take all those cards take them all delete them all that will leave you with some kind of fucking parts that you can put together to make a card of your choosing how many fucking cards that will be to make the one you want it doesn't say but if you've got a character that you want hopefully by deleting characters you don't give a fuck about you can use those fucking cards to get the characters you do want and there it is maybe there's hope for people who want one specific character maybe but seriously, duplicate fucking cards. Can things get any worse? We'll find out in a couple of weeks. Feel free to subscribe. See you later.